Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the book of Philippians chapter 2, and Paul is working for the Philippian church, and our reading today takes us to verses 27 and 28. He's been talking about Epaphroditus, who was his helper while he was imprisoned, and a messenger back and forth to the churches. Let's read these two verses, and then we'll think about it. For indeed, he was sick almost unto death, but God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore, I sent him the more eagerly, that when you see him again, you may rejoice, and I may be less sorrowful. So we've been talking about this the last morning or two. This is how news traveled in those days. News traveled by personal messengers. There was no mailman that pulled up and dropped uh, dropped letters in, in a box outside your home. That just wasn't the way it was. Uh, people would travel with letters. People would travel with news. People would travel with maybe some small package for you. And so that's how it was. Epaphroditus, he's been talking about how Epaphroditus one of these messengers, uh, perhaps a younger worker, a vital, a godly man working for the kingdom. And so he got very sick. We just read about that yesterday. And he has gotten well. And so Paul says, I'm sending him. And you were worried because you heard he was sick. But you know what? News travels so slowly in the time of Paul. And so now they get to see him face to face and see, hey, he's doing quite well. The Lord has spared him. So he was sick almost to death, but God had mercy on him and also mercy on Paul, because here was a faithful worker. One, there's not a lot of faithful workers out there, according to Paul in chapter 2 here, but Epaphroditus was, was out there doing it. He was out there working, and so it was glad when he recovered, and he goes back to this church, and there was a lot of face-to-face -face fellowship there. Some people think you could do church, you know, like over an internet connection, you know, this little thing we're doing right here. It, it's good. It's useful. It's helping people. But it's not the same as being in the congregation, worshiping in the same room with your brothers and sisters in, in Christ. So we, we need to be face to face with each other and with the Lord in locations where the brethren and the sisters are gathering to worship in the physical space. That's what fellowship means. This, this video business is, is, is useful, but it's, it's no replacement for actually being there with your brothers and sisters. And that's why, you know, even if they'd have had all these electronic means then, I think Paul would have sent Epaphroditus anyway. It's hard to hug somebody over the video, isn't it? But they could hug him up close. And I'm sure that's what happened when they saw him again. Paul sends him so that when they see him, they can, what was the word? Rejoice. Rejoicing up close. Christianity, uh, I guess we'd have to say it's kind of a contact sport, right? If you want to think of it that way. People, people are designed to touch each other, shake hands, give a hug. And they wanted to perhaps receive Epaphroditus. I'm sure there was some hugging and things there. Well, anyway, we're going to carry on in our study tomorrow morning. Let's pray, though, for right now. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for Epaphroditus, that you spared his life so that he could continue to uh, take messages back and forth and do the work of the gospel. He was an active worker in a time when it cost something more to do it. Lord, we have it so easy. We haven't developed the kind of strong working muscles that we want to have, the evangelistic muscles. Help us to take lessons from Paul and Epaphroditus and Timothy and the people we're meeting here in the book of Philippians so that we can serve you. And now we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And friends, the Lord delights to answer that prayer. May he bless you and give you opportunity to serve the Lord Jesus wherever you are. God be with you today.